Today is Wednesday the 15th of May and we're fishing Shore and Beach. Hi guys, that's Sean Beach today. Just getting here, it's just sun setting. But now I am half to high tide. But yeah, running a bit late, so I'm not set up yet. I've got all my gear with me. Got some nice lug worms and a few crabs and stuff in there as well. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly set up and get some baits in the water. Okay, just setting up my first rod. This is the one with the orange tip. Just a one up, one down rig. Just with a single lug worm on some size tees. Just gonna whack it out as far as I can. I think it's gonna be a couple of freak waves tonight. We already had the odd wave run right up the beach, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. But yeah, I'm surprised no one else is fishing. As you can see, very empty, very quiet. High tide's about 10 to 10, I think it is today. So I'm surprised there's not more people fishing. But then it is a Wednesday night. But yeah, hopefully there's some fish about. Okay, second rod with the white tip. I've gone for a pulley rig with a bit of a weird combo. I've got a peeler crab and I've got a live prawn on there. Just hook through the end segment of the tail. It's all clipped down so it should give off a bit of vibration in the water. And hopefully the other of the crab will trap some fish as well. I'm just going to whack that one out there as well. Oh look at that. It's been out there probably 30 seconds at a big stack liner. And yeah, probably about a pound bass, going on for a pound and a half. Bait's pretty much still intact, it's literally just nicked a pawn off the end of it. I'll just give it a quick measure and just give it a release. Okay, not bad, 36 centimetres. Big old fat thing. Oh, there you go, <laughs> a 180 flip for you. Let's get him a release. Okay, let's give this little bass a release. Watch these waves. Come on, mate. That wasn't the best release. I think he's gone. Okay, same tactics again. Got another pawn and peeler. Just going to whack it out at the same sort of distance. And see if we find its big brother. Well, that was a quick start. Literally a bite in 30 seconds of chucking my rod out. A bit uh, uninspected. But hey, here's a nice sign. That's my second bass in two days now. I popped over to Shaw and Port yesterday. Didn't really do much filming. But I got all the schoolies feeding on bread. But just for a pain in, the, pain in the ass to hook up. Had one around about 30 centimetres. I'll add the clip in now. Okay, first schoolie out of the port this year. Going up about 30 centimetres, so let's release it. Off it goes. Gave off a nice little scrap on a bubble float with some bread. So, yeah, that was a good sign. Um, there's loads of them. I had about 10 15 bites on the flight, and I just couldn't get them to hook up. If I showed any hook revealing in the bread, they wouldn't take it. And if I hid the bread, if I hid the hook in the bread, it was literally just scoffing it down. But I couldn't get the hook set because it was coated in bread, so it's just a very, very difficult sort of situation to try and pull out the, um, the bass. I was trying to um, find some mullet, but I still couldn't find any. Had a look around, couldn't see any either. But yeah, the bass were just fun. Good little scraps on the float bod. I'll probably be heading back over again soon. Um, hopefully the, the mullet might turn up. 
Okay, I just had another slack liner, one with the crag when the pawn. I took it in and rebased it up and stuck another one out. Just recast my left hand rods with the lug worm on, stuck a couple of worms on each hook this time. And yeah, just looking for some more fish. Just lovely evening. All the boats are coming out the port. This is the um, first time I'm fi filming with my mic, so I'm hoping the sound quality is a bit better. It is quite windy at the moment. So I did try it the other day and it was a bit of a buzzing noise, but hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, I just had to my rod in on the right hand side. I had a load of weight on it, then all of a sudden it went slack, then it went heavy again. I took it in and all the crab had been ripped off and it was just a tiny bit left on it. So I don't know, that could have been a ray or maybe just some weed, but I've never caught a ray before. It's on my target this year. So it'd be nice to catch one, but I don't know, it felt a bit odd to me. Hopefully there's some big fish around today. Okay, no more fish or bites yet. It's a nice evening, moon's out. Sun's getting a bit of a swell up here and you've run up the beach as well. But a bit of current there as well, it's pulling to the right a bit, which is good. But I've had a few little slack flying and sort of bites tonight, but no obvious bites. I'm carrying on fishing, I've got about 20 minutes high tide, so yeah, let's hope we can find another fish. Okay, another skeely, 35 centimetres. There's on the lug where I'm on the one up one down rig. Similar sort of size to the last one. Not quite as fat as the last one, but it's a good size. I'm um, just going to get it released now. Okay, I'm probably going to call this my last cast. I'm still getting rattles on my left hand rods. Don't know if that's going to pick up or not. I haven't bothered switching on my big torch yet. But. Yeah, I've got a feeling there might be another schoolie on my left hand rod there, for the one with the lugworm. On my right hand rods I've got um, double crab on there, on one hook. So hopefully something big will take that if there's anything about. But yeah, I'm calling this my last cast. It's probably about half an hour after high tide now, so if I fish on for another 20 minutes or so, and then I'll call it a night. Tell you what, fishing around here is a bit paranoid. Can't see any other head torches or anything like that don't think anyone else is fishing but I keep even hearing a scream and it's turned out as a blooming fox behind me gets a screaming every now and again you hear the old footsteps as well sort of makes you a bit paranoid but hey hi it's fishing um, still no more bites yet can get any odd little rattle on the orange tip rod there but not too sure that's just the waves or not the swell keeps them, every now and again you get a big swell, so it might be just that, but no obvious bites anyway. I don't know, you might be able to hear a fox screaming in the background there, but yeah, I'm going to carry on fishing for about another 10-15 minutes now. Right guys, just had a wound in. My baits have been stripped on the lug worm, the crab's still there, but I think that's going to be my last cast. Um, before I forget, I was going through the rock pools earlier, found a nice eel just swimming around under the rock. Um, I'll just show you that clip. But also I found, um, I think it might have been a tiny little seahorse right? I'll just um, show you the photo now. And if you could just let me know what you think it is. It'd be nice it is a seahorse. I've never found one in a rock pool before. But it was absolutely tiny. It was swimming upright. And just you literally like the size of my finger now. But yeah, if it, you've got any thoughts on what it is, let me know. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out my Instagram as well, which is fishing underscore bug. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm not too sure where I'll fish. Maybe back over to the port, see if I can catch more scary days. Or I'll do another beach, se another beach session. Um, I think prawns might be the way forward. So we get some flat calm water. 
might try floating some fawns about. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.